Howdy friends, my name is Jeff and this is my mega favorite number video. Last week, Matt Parker posted a new video to his channel, Stand Up Maths, where he invited everyone to make a video featuring their mega favorite number. That is to say their favorite number bigger than a million. My mega favorite number at least at the moment, is 1.6 times 10 to the power of 185. The rest of this video is going to be about explaining how I found this number and speculating on what I think it might mean. Step one to this getting to this number starts at the entire universe, which uh, has a diameter of about 99 billion light years, or 8.8 .8 times 10 to the 26 meters. If you turn that into a radius and plug it into the formula for the volume of a sphere, you get a volume of the entire universe of 3.6 times 10 to the 80 cubic meters. That's step one. Step two takes us to the domain of the smallest things possible the Planck scale, named after Nobel Prize winning theoretical physicist and noted mustache enthusiast Max Planck. Uh, he calculated the Planck length at 1.62 times 10 to the negative 35 meters. This is the smallest scale at which quantum mechanics works. There's no way to get any real usable information out of smaller scales. So it seems to represent the minimum size of any object in the, in the universe, like there's a graininess to the quantum universe. Using this as a diameter, you can plug it into the same sphere formula to get what I'm calling a Planck sphere with a volume of 2.2 times 10 to the power of negative 105 cubic meters. So step three is simple. You take the volume of the universe, you divide it by the volume of a Planck sphere, uh, the units cancel out, and you're left with 1.6 times 10 to the power of 185, at least if all my calculations are correct. Before I explain what I think this number might mean, I just want to take a brief moment to observe that when I first did this calculation, my initial thought was, oh wow, that's substantively bigger than a Google, which for a long time in my youth was my favorite, very large number. I was fascinated by it, and I was introduced to it by Carl Sagan in Cosmos. So thanks, Carl. Anyway, getting back to what 1.6 times 10 to the power of 185 might mean, it seems like it represents the total number of Planck spheres you can cram into the universe, which given that the, those would be the smallest possible units of volume, uh, represents sort of an upper limit on the amount of stuff in the universe, possibly. Though, as you can see by this sort of graphic representation, there's space between spheres when you pack them into a sphere-shaped space. Those spaces, however, will be smaller than a Planck length across, and so they may not exist. I don't know, I'm speculating. Um, Another way to think about it might be that uh, 1.6 times 10 to the power of 185 represents the total number of pixels in the cosmic computer's 3D display if you're the kind of person who believes we're trapped inside some sort of higher dimensional computer simulation. I don't really know one way or the other, I'm not a cosmologist or a quantum physicist or even a mathematician for that matter. I'm just playing around with some numbers here. If 1.6 times 10 to the power of 185 represents the value of some fundamental property of the universe, then that value is probably changing as the universe expands. Oh no, there it goes expanding. Dang it, it did it again. Anyway, so that's my mega favorite number. Thanks for watching.